Michael Brown here. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to use grape interlacing software to make a 3D lenticular print. Now the sample file I used is one I've made of a plant. I had my camera on a slide bar and I moved the camera across taking 12 frames and I had about, uh, as I recall, maybe a half inch between each frame on the slide bar. It's actually been some time since I've done that so I don't remember the exact details, but it was a single camera on a slider and I came up with a sequence of, of 12 frames. So those are the frames we'll use in this demonstration. So I have launched Grape and I want to create a new job. So it says open the job file. Well, if I don't already have a job file, I'll hit cancel and I'll make a job file. And I do that by inputting some parameters in this dialog box. So in this case, I'm going to pick my printer printing density and for the Epson printer, I use values of 720 pixels per inch. My 3D lenticular sheets, I'm using an 8x10 microlens 3D60 sheet. I've measured that pitch at 60.1. I want approximately a 7x7 7 7 inch print. Uh, grape it works in millimeters, so I'm going to hit 178 millimeters, which is roughly that. Uh, the margin height, uh, 5 millimeters, that's for the registration border that appears on the, the top and bottom. Now my particular images are in the TIFF format, so I want to change that image format dialog, and I will hit Submit, and now it asks me to save this job document. So I'll save that in my grape folder, and I'll just call it uh, Sample 3D uh, 60.1. All right, so I'll save that, and then it's asking me to choose the image sequence. So I have a sequence here of 12 frames. And I'll select the first one, hit open, and now it'll read the entire sequence. So it's interlacing, making the calibration border. It's already done. It's asking me where I want to save the file. So I'll save that on my desktop and I'll call it 3D sample 60.1 grape. And save that. So the job's completed. It asked me if I want to do a new job or if I want to quit. I'm actually going to go ahead and launch Adobe Photoshop. We're going to open up that file. Here it is. So here's the interlace file. I'll zoom in. So you can see one of these bands basically represents the width of the lenticule. And you can see the individual columns representing the different views from the camera. Grape is kind of cool because it has a really fantastic registration system. It basically, uh, you put the lens on the print, you look at the left edge, and you basically move the lens until you get a single vertical black line. And then you look at the top and bottom of the print, and there will be uh, these center registration marks. The, uh, there's a black band that's thicker and a black band that's thinner, and you just line those two up, and then you're in perfect registration. So, quick demonstration of how you use Grape interlacing software to create a 3D lenticular print.